Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Matt. This is Mark's Mods and today guys we are going to do our Valentino Rossi build. We are going to do stages 90 and 91 of Build the Rossi Motorcycle. These are the last two stages of this build. We're going to have another completed build guys. Oh yes at last. Oh, this has been a long time coming with this bike. It's not been the easiest build. I've got to admit, I've had to learn a completely new skill set building the motorcycle. But it has been uh, challenging and it is going to be looking nice. When I'm looking at it now with all the fairings on, oh, it does look beautiful. It's going to be, it is a beautiful model. It really is. It's just, um, yeah, it's taken a heck of a process to get there. Really taken a heck of a process to get there. Now, in these last two issues, we're going to be putting the final fairings on the motorcycle um, and then we are going to see the finished product. So, at the end, uh, once everything's on, I'll show you all the views of it and then we are done with this build. I was thinking about doing a showcase, but I don't think I'm going to do a showcase. Showcases are quite hard to record um, in this house. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'll show you the end product, uh, the, what we got at the end. But, um, yeah truly going to be amazing and i'm really 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 chuffed with the way things have turned out it has not been easy but it is going to be definitely worth it in the long run anyway enough of me waffling on let's get finishing this build so with all that said let's get modeling okay guys here we go so this is the last two stages of this build um will i be sad to see this go I'll be glad to have it complete. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to bring over the left side fairing. Now, I am just going to get some screws ready. Because, um, basically, we need to attach this. But it's not kind of clipped on anywhere, really. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to offer this up. We need to go under the handlebars. Just there. There is a little notch just there for it to sit on. And then we need to screw this in just down here with two type H screws. So let's hopefully not have a problem with these lining up. Oh, don't start. Starts already. Let's bring it a little bit closer to me. You might be able to see a bit better. A little bit difficult to uh, to put in. Just getting the screw started. I don't know whether it's because I'm nervous or whatever. Try to put the bottom one in. See if that helps. We've got both side fairings to put in today, so you know it's gonna. I oh, just saw that line up then, so I thought I'd get a screw in while I can. Alright, so that's one in there. Another type H screw. Now, these all, these screws are all kind of flat head anyway, so... That I believe we'll be using. Not the easiest screws to put in the world, no, that's not going in anywhere. Okay, let's try and line this up and try and see the hole. I can see it. It's just lining it up enough to make sure the screw goes in. Because then at the moment it's just going around doing nothing. And take it off that no. point a bit. Mm. 
Hang on. I'm not going to be defeated by you. I really am not. think that's going in but it's not I think that's got it yeah that got it okay fantastic okay so we've got one in there we need to put one down here and that is a type W screw okay hopefully this one's easier seems to be okay so that's in place okay right so need to move this around I'm getting a bit annoyed with this moving it around and everything but because uh, we've got the same to do on this side with the other side so all in good fun suppose so this side looks a little bit different to the other side I have to admit but yeah because it's not completely covering it okay so in that side we want to okay hang on a minute two two more H screws so one and get another one out too. Hopefully this goes in easier than the other side. Let's bring it a little bit further towards me just so I can see what I'm doing. Hopefully this bottom one's not as uh, problematic as the other. But it is a challenge. grabbed it okay right and then down at the bottom this time we're doing it with the type D screw so totally different screw to the other side going in I'm not I'm still not a fan of these flathead screws you just don't get the control like you do with the star edge screw because that happens okay that's in place and that is stage 90 complete okay guys this is stage 91 this is a final stage in this build it's great to be at this point it really is so first thing we need is we need this piece here this is the bottom fairing uh, so I'm just gonna move the camera down 
because this is going to go on to here and there's a couple of notches for it to line up into so that's one lined up and would you believe it we don't want to go in the second one open up this hole slightly so it goes in so let's try now now that's gone in there that's gone in to the other one there we go right okay now we need to put some screws in this which isn't going to be easy um so we want one just down here and these are all in this last stage type h screws So, not easy because it's low down you can't see that great and it just makes you want to put the bike on its side but I don't want to do that because I'll end up breaking something I've just lost a screw on the floor so right back in a sec guys a few moments later okay guys I'm back I've actually had to put it on its side just to make this a bit easier but nothing's damaging yet so I think we're all right so let's get this first screw in okay so it's one in there and then we've got another two to put in there's no other way to do it than to literally put it on its side now that is just not lining up at that side at all oh it has done a bit let's see if i can get a screw in well it's on its side again i'm just not a fan of these flat screws started <laughs> okay that's one in there and we just need another one just up there <clears throat> Okay, so that's one up there. 
Right, so I need to move the bike over. I'm going to try and lie down at the side again because it's a lot easier doing it that way. Okay, so here we have again. Right, so we need to put this in, but we need to line it up with the holes on here. So this is going to be jolly good fun, isn't it? Okay, that's all lined up. Wow. Okay, and then we need to put three H screws in. And hopefully I'll be able to get it off its side because I don't like it on its side. Oh, it could happen. And this is a very delicate model. Okay, that's taken. Okay, that's one. Just want to go in, but it just doesn't want to go in at the other side where it's supposed to link up, but it will. I'm sure it will. Okay, one more. <sighs> oh, I don't want to do that. Luckily, it hasn't marked it. This is a great danger with these screws. I don't think I've ever concentrated much like this in before. Okay, that's in place. So I'm just going to get this up and back on its stand because that'll definitely make me feel better okay so we've just got one last thing to do on this model and just bring the camera slightly up we've got a, a sticker to put just on the back here We'll get that off. Put that in. Rub it down. And that's it. That's it, guys. The Rossi's done. Wow. My goodness me, that is done whoa amazing absolutely amazing um yeah i'm lost for words on how it looks after all the pipes 
and all the problems and everything she really does look like a really gorgeous bike um, this is why I do part work she just don't get this scale anywhere else this is amazing so that is stage 89 sorry 91 complete what I'm going to do in a second I'm going to just stop recording and then I will bring the camera up and we can see this in all its glory so that is stage 91 done and here it is here is the finished Rossi motorcycle as you can see just bring it round be very very careful I don't want to build this and it break <laughs> there we see the front 46 logo, the wheel, bring it down in the car, and then that is the other side, all the fairings, all the pipes, amazing, and then let's just go to the re-up, it's not heavy, but then that is the rear. Bring it back round. I think that's the best side because you get to see the chain. And there we have it. 91 stages. A lot of sweat. Not swearing. Well, not on camera. A lot of patience, time. We have one completed Valentino Rossi motorcycle from D'Agostini Partworks. And that, guys, is another partwork finished. Thank you. Well, guys, that's it for the Rossi. Thank you for following me on this journey of building this motorcycle. It's not been easy. It has tested my patience a lot of times. Things are a lot breaking and you know other bits and pieces but she's done she's complete and i'm going to put her on the shelf and admire her because it does look really nice i'm glad i did it there were times where i was ready to jack it all in there was there really was it's not been the easiest it is definitely patience and definitely a lot of pipe work i will say that a lot of pipe work but it's been worth it in the long run and what we've been left with is a superb model and at the end of the day the only thing i kept on going through my head is this will look great at the end and that's yeah i can honestly say it has been worth it so guys thank you ever so much for watching this build thank you for following me on this journey it has really been appreciated so if you like this video please could you give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos and builds that come up on the channel but as for always guys stay safe and bye for now